Guys, just last week I was at All Energy. It's the biggest energy show in Australia and one of the biggest in the world, in fact. It's pretty incredible. There's a lot of different battery products, a lot of different solar systems, a lot of different new technology here, charging, charging solutions, charging cables. And honestly, I was just kind of bamboozled by everything here. But But one thing did stand out to me, I of course have Anker batteries at home. I've got an Anker EV charger and I've got a, an Anker portal battery. In fact, I've got a few of them. I think they're the best quality, but at the show, Anker displayed some of their newer products and here's what those new products actually are. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hey guys, this is the exact same system that I have installed at home. And I have these three kind of stacks lined up in parallel. So you can see here all three of them. And what you've got here is the top module is the inverter then there's three batteries underneath it each of them is five kilowatt hours five five and five now i don't know what inverter size that is because you can get different options my inverter is 12 kilowatt so i've got two 12 kilowatt inverters i've got one 12 kilowatt inverter there and i've got another 12 kilowatt inverter here in total you've actually got 10 10 5 kilowatt batteries here meaning this is actually a 50 kilowatt hour battery stack, all in total. Two inverters integrated into the system. I love the way that Anchor in, integrate the inverters into their system. It actually looks really good, really smooth. That's one of the big advantages of Anchor system. Anchor, they have a new EV charger. I've actually got one at home, 22 kilowatt EV charger. Looks, looks awesome. Integration with the app is fantastic. And they've just shown this off at All Energy. They also had their Solix batteries, the Solix X1. Now the Solix X1 is available in DC hybrid or AC coupled variants. I've got a total of 50 kilowatt hours here of the Solix X1 batteries, really slim line. I think they look the best for battery systems if you're gonna be walking past them every day. And they fit in my garage, so I can still drive my car in my garage, which I couldn't with most other batteries because it's quite a narrow garage. AC coupled models of the Solix X1 are available and currently approved by the Clean Energy Council. Uh, you've got a bunch of different options, but ultimately there is five kilowatt hours, 10 kilowatt hours, you can stack them, 15 kilowatt hours, 20, 25, and 30 kilowatt hour capacities available, one to six battery modules, but you can go all the way, right? A maximum of four battery modules can be used for a single X1 stack. Uh, however, extra modules can be installed beside it, which is what I've done, up to a maximum of six battery modules per power module. A basic five kilowatt hour system offers three kilowatt output capacity, but models past that offer six kilowatt or more. There's, to be honest, there's a lot of options. You don't, you're not really locked into one particular choice. So you, depending on what you need, you can pretty much get it. The all-in-one hybrid DC single phase model supports up to three parallel systems, which is what I've got, three parallel systems, for a maximum 90 kilowatt hours or 18 kilowatts. Um, I've got a, a 50 kilowatt hour system, but you can go to 90. The hybrid three phase model supports up to six parallel systems, up to 180 kilowatt hours. So 180 kilowatt hours or 72 to kilowatt. Solix X1 battery modules use lithium ion phosphate chemistry. All their batteries are lithium ion phosphate. Uh, this, these, this battery chemistry is pretty much recognized as being safer, they last longer, you're gonna get more charges, and it's pretty, pretty well ideal for home battery storage. These systems have IP66 rating for the AC coupled or IP66 for the hybrid, so they're pretty, pretty good for outdoor settings. It, particularly, I live re really close to the beach, you get a lot of you know, um, degradation from rust, from salt and water, storms here can be pretty crazy. So that's one of the reasons I went with this battery. My battery is here at home, which I'm loving because I have, don't have to pay for power anymore. And here's the charger. 
Anchor's charger, 22 kilowatt, you can charge on solar, integrates really well into the app with the batteries. You've got also the same, the same batteries here, but they've also got the home gateway, which I don't actually need because I'm on three phase and I've got two 12 kilowatt inverters, but if you've got a smaller inverter, then the home gateway could be a good idea. So there's, there's the Anchor stuff. Now obviously Anchor, they sell some smaller batteries as well. These little guys, which I've got one each of these batteries at home. I've got one of these. There's an operating temperature range of minus 20 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. And the X1 has a C5M corrosion class rating, meaning they can be used in coastal locations. A lot of batteries are not rated for coastal locations. So you've got to consider that before you agree and sign your contract. In the case of a blackout, switch over time is less than 10 milliseconds. In off-grid mode, you'll have a 6.6 .6 kilowatt AC coupled or hybrid single phase or 12.6 kilowatt three phase hybrid power output this requires three or more battery modules but only the x1 hybrids can be recharged using solar panels during a blackout here's the thing though the x1 has six different energy modes three for power management and another three for energy efficiency enhancement probably my favorite feature though it sounds gimmicky but it's actually really cool the anchor solix has a display on the power module unit that lights up as you approach it and it's accompanied by an app for remote monitoring, management, and control. So far, reports are good. There's 50 reviews online, and all 50 of them have given this product five stars. It's pretty new though, right? There's a 10-year warranty on the Solix X1, and I believe on the EV charger as well. Now, right now in Australia, I've just jumped on the website, and Anchor haven't even told me this, but I've looked on their website, and they have installed an X1 for a free Anchor 535 powerhouse. Just submit your request once installed, claim your free Anchor 535 powerhouse. So basically you can get a, a free battery um, with your Anchor battery home system. And right now, of course, with the government rebates in Australia, it's a kind of a no-brainer to actually get one, I think. Not necessarily Anchor. I mean, obviously I've got one, I recommend it, but getting any home battery right now just makes complete sense. This is EcoFlow. They have a kind of a similar battery to Anchor. So here's EcoFlow's home storage battery. 800 volt lithium ion phosphate. And as you can see, it has individual modules. EcoFlow. They have the Ocean, Power Ocean DC Fit battery, very similar to Anchor's battery, lithium ion phosphate. And they have two different types here. All the batteries are the same. They're all a 5.1 kilowatt hour battery, five kilowatt usable, and you can stack them. You can actually stack the batteries. The inverter is up the top there. So that's the inverter there. And the batteries are stacked here. You can stack as many, I believe you can stack up to 12 batteries, but there is a different version with a different inverter. So this is your um, single phase inverter. Uh, this is your 12 kilowatt AC inverter, 12 kilowatt. There is so many stalls here. There's so much excitement around the battery sector. Everyone's saying it's just blowing up. Um, finding it hard to film because I've had a lot of people come up to me and want to have a chat about what's going on, what they're doing, what I'm doing with my new anchor battery storage system. Everyone's intrigued by it. As I mentioned before, for me, um, one of the biggest reasons of ha for having this, I love the digital sc screen readout. Very few batteries have that. But more importantly, it's the 15 centimeter thickness. It's really, really thin, looks great in my garage. And yeah, 15 centimeters, it means it, it won't come out too much and prevent you from parking in your garage. Now, the other benefit I think is I got both the batteries installed at the same time as my new charger. So, you could probably get save on installation costs by doing both at the same time by approximately 25% because they're both sort of 
happening on the same day. That's how it worked out for me. Now, one other thing worth mentioning, there's been all this crazy heat and then extreme cold, sort of crazy temperatures right now. The system can go minus 20 degrees Celsius, no issues, and up to 55 degrees Celsius. So that's good peace of mind. Now, apparently it also integrates with Amber, Amber's and Origin's VPP platforms. So you can connect your X1 system to the grid for the ability to automate your energy trading. And right now I'm, I'm producing a lot more solar than what I'm using. So that's definitely worth considering selling your solar into the grid in order to make some extra money. One more thing, guys, the whole home backup is coming in 2026. Debuting in the first quarter of 2026, Anchor Solix's PowerDoc Pro is an intelligent energy gateway that simplifies whole home backup power integration. So this is a product that I don't personally have, but they've revealed this product. It features a built-in meter and optimized wiring design, and it saves up to 30% installation time while supporting parallel connection and flexible home backup options. The system will initially be compatible with solar PV systems and with other generators in a future update. But it's it's really fun to be around this. So I think all energy is a great show. I had a big problem though. Came here, they literally would not let me in. It took me half an hour to get in. I re registered online, they said they couldn't find my details and it was an absolute nightmare trying to get in here. And they said, you are, you're not registered. And it's a different company handling the registrations than actual all energy. So it literally took me 35 minutes to get in the door and they just literally did not want to let me in. It was crazy. So, so stressful. So stressful. By the end of it, I was, I was starting to sweat and I was thinking, oh man, I've got to calm down a bit here. So that's everything I saw in Anchor and at the display. And to be honest, I obviously already have seen these products because I have them installed in my house, but these are basically brand new on the market. And Anchor's a, a known brand, they're a known quantity. Uh, I, think, um, I think they're pretty good, pretty good stuff. If you have looked at it in person and you probably would agree with me, but let me know if you were at All Energy or if you've seen some of these new batteries from Anchor, let us know in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are on the design, the appearance, everything else. Let us know what your thoughts are on the actual performance as well, which I think is right up there with some of the best. Thanks for watching.